Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker. My name's Amino Hassan. I'm joined, as always, by Trayvon Edwards, Jason Madison, John Gervais, and Juju Julio Gotti. We got a great show for you guys today. We're going to talk about the play-in tournament. We're going to say thank you to the play-in tournament for making the end of the NBA season fun, trying to figure out who's going to play who. Little Mavs Clippers matchup preview. We got that one done a week in advance. Uh, also, we roast Jerv about his bullshit ass favorite team with them bullshit ass statues. This thing is gonna try and make some excuse about saving money and building arenas. Do not fall for it. Just listen <laughs> to the whole thing. We have the biggest court case in bomb history. No, it's not the people versus OJ, it's <laughs> Jay Madison versus Jay Gervais. Who is the worst traveler in the world? The honorable Judge Gotti for, for presiding. <laughs> We're going to get a ruling. Y'all don't want to miss this. There's expert testimony. There's eyewitness testimony. There may even be an attorney that shows up. So definitely don't want to miss that. We get into all of the particulars of rap beef, the best lines, the best strategies. And also, can you really lose? Does everyone just keep winning? And, of course, we say goodbye to the one and only Juice Orenthal James Simpson. Get to all of that and more, but first, patreon.com slash count the things. Make sure you're locked in. You're getting all the extra content. You're getting the overflows. You're getting the OG podcast. You're getting the Cinephobe watch alongs. You're getting the Cinephobe special editions. You're getting the Discord. And you're getting the invites to the goddamn live shows that are back. You don't want to miss it. Patreon.com slash count the things. All right, let's get into it. NBA play in tournament look ahead. Like, there's really no point in talking about what's going to happen because by the time this shit airs, it already have happened. But I do think it's an interesting conversation about, like, yo, low-key, the NBA fixed a lot of the problems that we had a few years ago of, like, the rest, you know, after March, nobody cares until the playoffs, and then these games matter, and we see a bunch of, you know, scrubs playing most of the games. We've kind of eliminated that. We got got it to a point where because of the play-in, everybody one through ten has something to play for. Like the, there's only one team in the NBA. I guess not one. It's the Celtics didn't have anything to play for the last couple of weeks. And I guess the Mavericks and the Clippers, because they're locked in at four or five. And the Hawks and the and the Bulls at nine, ten. But everyone else is playing for something. And I feel like we live in an era where like everybody loves to bitch, but nobody loves to say, you know what? Shout out, wait, you guys got that one right. Wait a minute. And, don't yeah. don't the uh can't the Clippers and the Mavericks swap? Flip flop? I don't think so because I think the Nah, the, they're they're locked in. They're locked they got in. The, they got they're the the only uh, tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. They're the only right. joint that's locked in, and then it's like three fucking number ones. Like that shit is it's gonna but be. That so was, good. But that was just that was just recent because you said last couple of weeks for the Celtics, but the yeah, Mavericks. Celtics. So yeah, no Celtics. Last couple of weeks, the Mavericks. That, that's Mavericks and uh, Clippers is and today. and Clippers is yeah. But it, it's locked in. It, yeah. They're not. They're they're not moving. So 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 who? But who? Okay, since that's the only thing locked in, who do we like in that series? That's an interesting matchup. I got the Clippers. First round. Yeah, I'm, are they, they well rested. They well rested. Yep. Uh, yeah, they've been sitting. They, they, they know, sat them twice. But, but it's said quiet got that ten, tendinopathy or whatever they call it. Maybe I, bro. Knee right. inflammation, <laughs> tendinopathy. Luca, Luca gonna tear their ass up though. He gonna. I was gonna say Luca, Luca. He gonna the average. Clippers. He gonna. He gonna average forty. But they not beating them. They not beating them. Luca, Luca See, against the Clippers is kind of. He be on his shit. He be yeah. on his shit. And then the, the other thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna say is that the, the Mavericks are fucking good, man. Like that, them trades they did to get P.J. Washington and Gafford, like, that shit made a huge difference for them. And so it's like, yeah, you know, the Clippers are the better team, but, man, like, the Mavericks have been playing the last, like, 18, 20 games. They've been out of their minds. And obviously, luka has been a big part of that, too. It's going to be interesting, man. I think I think it goes seven. Like, I, I don't know who's going to win. I think it goes seven, though. Yeah, it's going to be a good series. And the first round I'm, exit for is seven. It's crazy. Seven's fine for me. Six, six is a, a a good spin for the for the clips if they get that shit cracking. Is Luca the MVP? 
Wait, time out. MVP of what? The, the season. Hell, man, no. No. This nigga said, this nigga said the MVP. I mean, you, you let him pick the Clippers in six? Who is the MVP? Oh, right. bro. I remember saying the MVP. Jokic, yeah. Jokic or SGA? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's Jokic, man. That's what I said. But my first pick would be Jokic. And if they just like voter fatigue, SGA. But why not Luca? Tell me why not Luca though. Man's is a five seed, man. It's just like, a seed. But but I, 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 saw, real quick. I, I saw the I saw the <laughs> little uh comparison when Jokic won his first one, they was a five seed. Yeah, but the difference was Jokic. See, this is the thing. That's what I love about the internet. They never give you context. Right. The context then was that everybody got hurt. Like Embiid played better than him that year, but yeah. Embiid got hurt. Everybody got hurt. The only dude that had been playing games consistently was Jokic. His first MVP was like, I mean, I get it. Very out, I was, The second I was one, one of them niggas. The second one, it. I was like, oh, he got this one. And that's so, why they started the whole campaign of why Joel should have been, like they were saying Joel was better. Joel should have been an MVP. Yep. And it was true. Joel was kicking his ass, but Joel he had a better healthy. Year, yeah. So healthy, the yeah. one where, where, where Jokic actually deserved it, Jokic, why, mean, y'all, uh, why y'all didn't have this energy for him beat when they was grinding him up saying that uh that he was ducking oh. ducking jo- Jokic? Yo, I didn't hear all that energy on on the oh. Twitter streets when they were saying all that shit. Y'all didn't have all that energy for him then. Now we want to now we want to show the uh the underdog from Cameroon some love. That's crazy to me. He ain't yo. never been an underdog the, in his life. The man. real the real MVP. Jerk. What are you talking about, man? What, Jerk, what, about? MVP, <laughs> what, what is your what is your little statue having ass talking about right now, man? Come, uh, come, whoa. Hey, let niggas, legend, niggas, let, legend, legends walk, bro. That's the that's the size of the statues on the hey, legends walk, hey, bro. Niggas, Why are you statues so small? Because it's outside, it's outside of the um it's on practice the walkway of the practice facility, right? Why, why do they put the statues somewhere where the fans don't ever go? Who who gonna see that? So here's the thing. I was once yeah. on that side too, right? And then I okay. had an epiphany. I was like, oh, it makes sense. Billionaires is just cheap. They're, they're trying to move, not trying to put statues on said Wells Fargo lot just to have to move it in two years or whatever. They're just going to build. He'll get a statue and Barkley. Barkley, who rightfully so deserves a statue. Also, he'll get a statue when they get downtown, Chinatown, when they build a new stadium. Whoa. Whoa, easy, Juju. <laughs> different, different kind of Chinatown. <laughs> Chinatown. Chinatown. Bro, I don't give a damn if we move in the stadium tomorrow. Don't have my motherfucking, uh, uh, what is it, statue ceremony of my motherfucking statue lures me, bro. I don't give a fuck. With, but everybody's statue, Juju, is that size. Keep the hey. statue uh, to y'all stop. Step until y'all move. Yeah. Hey, hey, you stop you know doing statues. Hey, you know what's crazy, though? The craziest thing is that y'all got a fictional white man with a 12 foot statue. And go ahead, Jerry. He's, he's, he's not the only one, dog. Dr. No, no, J no, has no, no. a fucking statue. Will Chamberlain has a statue. I hear bro. you. I hear you. But for what Allen Iverson meant to the Sixers organization, shout out to Dr. Right. J. But for what Allen Iverson is to Philadelphia, That's... as much as y'all claim that man, that man deserves a larger than life statue. He's going know. to get that statue, but, bro. But, but, well, Dur- well, why Dur- build Dur- that little ass why shit build- there? Why? That's because they have Legends for. Walk or whatever it's called, and he's a legend. So Dur- he got his they, Legend when, Walk statue. Dur- when 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 are they gonna move? Roughly, I know I'm not asking you like an exact date, but like I mean, I would say probably like three. God, like well, how long does it take to build a stadium? That that's a ten year process. No, nah, not a ten year process. I'm I'm asking know. you. I'm, I'm saying like three, 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 to five, three to five, hey, three to five, three to five. So they're, they're they're confirmed gonna build it. Like it's not. Oh like no, no, they're, they're in the. Month. You know, no, they they they're, they're you know they're going through the That's shit right point. now. <laughs> this nigga act just, like just, like just it's just a Clippers smoking. arena and shit. Right, he's just smoking on hopium right, right now. And like, even the Clippers maybe. arena still got done, nigga. The Clippers arena got done. That's what I'm saying. It depends. Palmer was not playing, nigga. That nigga opened up that blank book and was like, here. Let's that get this shit done. Way. I'm tired of these niggas dissing us. Here, let's build this yeah. shit. <laughs> and niggas still gonna diss them. I mean, sure, but I'm just talking about that little ass trophy my man got. That shit was sad. Hey man, this shit was the know, size of an uh, MVP trophy. You know the crazy, the craziest shit about it to me? I was gonna take the train down there. I'm so glad I didn't. I forgot. Oh, you would, I literally you would have gone to the wrong place. You would have gone to the wrong place. I would have showed up to the arena. 
I would have shown up, showed up to the arena, and niggas were like, where, yo, where everybody where at? Where everybody at? <laughs> These oh, niggas don't fuck. Rollout, these niggas bro. don't fuck it's with him like rollout. that. Niggas is capping. <laughs> it's a terrible rollout. If, if if they got the statue coming, this is a terrible rollout. You feel but see, like, don't have me that, bring my mom up here. Juju, ju- ju, you're absolutely right. Because <laughs> this this is what they should have done. If they knew they were going to do a little ass statue, because that's all they got is little ass statues. Because according to Jerv, they're too cheap to do the big statues. <laughs> then the whole week before the rollout. They got to be showing us these little ass statues. Yep. Like, and, and then the last one. And Iris said she covered one, up. Covered yeah. up. So we got, we're ready. Instead, these niggas came out like, yo, y'all ready for this statue? And, and that yo, shit was Yo, the funniest shit him. was everybody reaction in the back. <laughs> like. <laughs> what they say? What they say? Where is it at? No, no, it was just, no, nobody said nothing. But I'm just talking about the, the like, they if you zoom in on the picture, far. it's one nigga like, like. <laughs> Niggas is just like, oh my god! Like we pulled up for this shit. That shit, is, oh, that shit, is like a bear brick in somebody's crib, nigga. I, bro, they I don't even said, know hey, yo, about bro, you, could t- you could take that shit to the crib, bro. We could put it in your crib. That's how small that shit is. They wasn't even yeah. talking about it like that. We, they talked about it maybe like the day before. Honestly, well, it's sad. Is that like, but like the news a, and everything? Yeah, they were, well, they no, were no, they had they had been talking about it because they posted it. Um, they were like making it a big deal, and I was like, "Oh, I'm about to go pull up for this." This is the only reason why I knew about it because they were like, "Yo, we're giving Allen Iverson a statue." So niggas was hyped on Twitter, like, "Hell yeah!" Like nigga, Kobe got one. Iverson about to get one, and for that, but what Iverson meant to niggas. Nah, nah. Like they, they, they Tupac got a not... larger two the, the ugly Tupac in Atlanta got a better statue than that shit. Damn. <laughs> That's uh, fucking crazy, bro. That's crazy. The, uh, the ugly t- Bro, you see yeah. a Tupac statue? The one that's in that BMF. Ain't... Bro, that shit don't look like Tupac, bro. <laughs> I kid you, you not. That bad. shit do not look like Tupac, bro. That shit look like uh uh Bobby Jackson. From the Kings, <laughs> that shit look that like Bobby Jackson, bro. That nigga was Ooh, Bobby Jackson. Ass. Hell yeah! Now you're a good nigga. His ba- listen, listen. G, his baby mama ain't living in the South. He a good nigga, bro. He be coming to Compton. I fuck with Bobby Jackson. <laughs> good nigga. Where you from? He from he from, I think he from like the South somewhere. Is but I was yeah. I was tripping off how he met somebody from Compton. He met a chick from Compton. I'm like, how you do that? Hey man, love finds a way. Speaking I guess. of Compton, love finds a way. Speaking of Compton, let's get into it, fellas. We're here. I called God. G. La- I called G last night, bro. Cause G, cause G, 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 the, G, the big homie in the West. And I'm like, G, what's up, bro? What you heard? G said he been in. The, he said he said Doc been in the studio all day yesterday. So, any updates on that, uh, G? I don't know if you're talking right now. We can't hear you. I think you muted. It might not be connected. He ain't say nothing. No. Oh, no, he is, but. He is yeah. talking. We can't, can't hear you. We can't hear you, G. As, as Mike's not connected because it's not even muted. It, it don't even have the little mute logo. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well. It's, it's we, funny, man. It's been so good. I was we, can, we, can, we, can, we can talk about it right now until he joined back on. Yeah. Well, I, you sure you want you want let glasses? Nah, we, we got other stuff we can talk about so glasses he get good. Back. Go ahead. Okay. No, I, I, I was I was just about to give you your flowers and shit, but we can we can definitely uh what's up? You know, what's up, bro? Nah, bro, like because a while back I think it's suspicious know. already, like what's up? <laughs> <laughs> a while back, and y'all know you had came just took off his glasses and got sick. <laughs> a while back, you you came on the pod and you paused and you, you told everybody about a traveling experience and you right. were deemed literally the worst traveling person, worst person to ever travel with. Yeah. Right. I traveled oh, with you. Mm-hmm. My brother, oh, shit, put some yeah. respect on your name, yo. I thought that's all I'm gonna say. They gotta put some respect on my man Trey name. He's not a terrible. I, I'm led to believe as long as he travels um, with black people, he's fine. Let me say this: <laughs> Trey might have been exonerated, but we got a new number one public enemy on the list. Oh, his name is John Gervais. 
Nigga. No, no, wait, Jason. Jason, bro. No, no. Oh, Jason, no, by far. No, Jason, no, by no. far. Jason, by far. By far. No, by not, far. By 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 no. less, actually, because by, less by, by less. far. <laughs> because we, less, we, less we, 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 we can we can we can all present cases yeah, and allow yeah. the judge and jury to yeah. go ahead, my brother. Hey, Juju, let's, Juju, let's, you can be the it. judge and jury, man. Let's because I feel yes, like sir. I feel like I, I knew they I knew they they kept putting this thing in the in the chat, and I'm like, <laughs> nobody wants to hear about getting to the airport on time. Y'all just trying to say something about nigga said it was nine. Oh no, that years. actually was about me on, on some real shit, no, bro. That's why. Well, that's why. That, that actually was something. something. Okay, so so so, 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 what, so, so so let me go. Let me go. Let me go. So what happened? Yeah. I'm not even talking about that. We we got out there. Everything was cool. I'm not even gonna get on Jerry being sleepy. Y'all can handle that later. We went. <laughs> we went to. The, we went to the we went to the club. Waz wanted to get a bottle, and he like, "Who want to throw down?" I'm like, "We all here, whatever." I'm thinking everybody gonna throw down. It just ended up being me and Harper. So, objection, objection. Uh, what does uh, throw down mean? Does it mean we're gonna drink, split? No, no, no. We're gonna or... pay for it. Who's going to split okay, the cost yeah. of the bottle? So, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Waz asked who wants to split the cost of the bottle with him. I, I put my hand up. Parper puts his hand up. Trey and Jerv say no. Nah. They take part in the shot. Obje- uh, object- objection. <laughs> objection. Uh, I actually never heard why I say anything. I was at the front. Mm. So, so I, I, I never okay. once heard anything. Okay. A bottle just appeared, and I'm, okay. I, who was chilling okay. from the rip, wasn't even really drinking the first bottle, who also, hold up, Trey, turned down said shots, said, oh. I'm good. And then the shorty said, oh, no, you got a drink. And I mean, even in my weakest moments in life, being so tired, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to fuck it up. I'm going to take a shot. Right. Okay. So then, the, <laughs> so then the second night, the second night, we do I think we show. left out a, a major detail too, though. By the okay. Way. Let me let me yeah. finish and you can get then you yeah. have your rebuttal. So the second <laughs> night we go we go back out. Then we end up uh, splitting up because I forgot what what was it was somebody's pants or something couldn't get in. Yeah, whatever. somebody. So, somebody, my, <laughs> so, somebody, so, about who? Oh, oh, oh. oh time out, time out. Since, because I, I like how you're doing this, my brother. Pause, but let me interject right here. Okay. So originally, they can't get in because my pants, right? Okay. I see oh, how he's doing oh, that right here. Oh, oh time out. Okay. We circle the block. Wise pulls up. Wise whoopty whoops, whoopty whops, whatever he says. My pants are now cool. Jerome. Had had his it was his fit his fit was just his fit and it was like no no no, no. okay so it was, it was so, my man right. hey okay. for the record my man's put no, two I, cases on me and no, I beat no, no, both I, them Jones so far just no, for the record go ahead bro keep going the first question, one is still question. I got a question still hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let the judge let the judge be let the judge be I got a question could the aggravation of your pants and the yeah. okay was whatever have been residue now by this nigga is dead though about the security no nah, he would have he would he probably he probably would have been done done's over regardless i don't think he was in the back when the first when the first like visual happened i don't yeah. think i don't yeah i don't think i don't i don't think uh, i mean that's just I my opinion it. that's I, my yeah, opinion yeah yeah jerome I, gotta know jerome gotta know you gotta you gotta get right in the middle there so yeah, he was in the wrong position. <laughs> was, so all yes. of that was all of that is, is true. All that's true. So then, so now um, we had a we had a host. We had a host. This guy named Shaka. He was really nice. This great guy. Um, you know, Boy. showed us the city. Took us around. <laughs> so he's so now. Once we split up, so Ben, Trey, Jerv, Jerome are in one group. They go eat. Now it's me, Waz, Shaka, and. Waz had a couple of his cousins. So now we're at some club, restaurant type of thing, whatever, hanging out. So now it's time to see what's going on, you know what I'm saying, with the situation. Make the best of the situation. We're now in two groups. So some ladies make their way towards me. I mm-hmm. spread them around the, the group. And now we're now we've got a real event going on right now we got a stew <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> stew going. So, now we're good. so now we're cooking right we get we get a couple of shots everything gets split up we're all good so now we're thinking okay 
Harper was in for the bottle last time. We might re-up as a group. Waz talking that bottle talk again. We're going mm-hmm. to a club. So I'm like, we got some chicks, whatever. Hopefully the group will come back. But we're with our hosts. Let's make sure that we show him a good time, regardless. So, so the other group is supposed to meet up with y'all at some point, but just not, it's no. not a supposed to. No. It's not, nothing oh, no. is now supposed no. to. We are now at a part of the story where Trey and I have no idea what, what yeah, happened. Yeah, we have yeah, no yeah, idea what he's talking about right now. They don't know. This, that, to us. This, yeah, this is all new information. So so now we're in two factions, right? We've split up in two factions. I'm ex- I'm expecting... <laughs> I'm expecting... <laughs> 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 I'm expecting, Objection overruled. <laughs> I'm expecting Harper or, or some some other members to reunite with us to ho- ho- hopefully um help this bottle cost. We end up not being- objection, objection. What does this have to do with you being a terrible ta- travel person? Because I'm, I think I, it's relevant. Yeah, relevant, yo. No, listen, listen, because I'm oh, so hold on, I'm going to the judge. I'm ho- no, no. Let me finish Look, my statement same. before before you get into objection. <laughs> I'm showing our host a good time. I brought some ladies around. Now I'm throwing in a bottle for a second night, and we're making sure that the host who showed us around the city is having a good time. So I'm being a lively guest. You feel me? So we do that. We go all night. We hang out. Blah blah blah. We come back to the spot. That's my that's my take. We get up and go to the airport in the morning. Trey and Jerv got the Uber. I'm oh, that, that's that that was that, that shit. Can't, oh, hold up, bro, you lost. What? Listen, hold right. on. Here you go, Jerv. I got go. it. <laughs> okay, okay go right. ahead, Trey. Go ahead, Trey. Jerv, <laughs> this is where we hit the rewind button. <laughs> right. So, we go out first night after dinner, right? After dinner, we go out to said club because was knows somebody shout out to night train by the way um i mean yeah got us got us got us got us set up out there right cool so only reason why because again i'm not a shot nigga not a shot nigga at all we go <laughs> right and we get in we're comped love shout out to toronto love they even come out with the bomb fucking signs I'm like, wait, 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 wait. On the second time go around, on the second go around, the first go around, well, the first go around, it was like, welcome, well, it was like, welcome, Waz is here, oh, yeah, <laughs> some shit like Waz. that. Okay. Let me, so let me tell you how that even came about, Waz. because it came out the oh, first. Bro, came, you no, just no, had no, the whole no, floor. No, 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 no. Let me get this off. They came out with the first bottle that said, "Welcome, Waz." When we purchased the second bottle, I leaned over to Waz and said, "Let's make the sign say bomb. Can you go tell them, please?" Continue your story, Trey. Well, thank you, Jason. For your <laughs> thank you, Jason. You thank basically you. pay you pay for the letters. Thank you, brother. Um, so <laughs> after this, right? Comp bottle. Me and Jerb is sleepy. First of all, we got in at 8 a.m. We ain't, I don't know if bro take naps. My flight, or not. my flight was at 7 a.m. And I am the, as they let learn, I am a a, a wild you're also, airport. You're also the oldest on the trip, too. So and I've been up to 2 30 in the morning Eastern. Uh, uh, not objection, that right? Yeah, don't matter, right? Matter. So, yeah, long story so short, not. we Strike stay from the record. All right, so we in it, <laughs> we in it, we in the club. It's 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 like one o'clock, something like that, right? Jervis clearly he's getting sleepy, he's getting tired, right? And we're fucking with him, like, bro, you gonna be all right, just take the shot, you be cool, right? Even even the fucking bottle girls is like, hey, take the shot. So we like, all right, man, fuck it. So Waz says, Hey, yo, you know how Waz is, he's like, yo. I'm thinking we should get another bottle. I'm like, I'm cool. I don't want to drink no more, bro. Like, this was already cool. This is a stretch, right? What were y'all drinking? Uh, Tequila. Casamigos. Casamigos. Oh, man. Yeah, right? we, we definitely had the bad, we had the bad so, bottle. Right. So, so I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, cool. We done had, like, at this point, niggas done had probably three shots per person. So him coming back, I'm like, I'm not, it's 2.30. It's almost 2.30 Ain't none of y'all said, "Hey, let me let me mix this with like no. some lime juice." No, or... tr- none of that. Because no, the, they're just shots and they're just handing them to Soda. you. Like, no... Yeah. So now, so... if you if you turn it down and pour it in the cup, now you're the now you're the guy that's like, "Oh no, let me pour mine in the cup and sip right. mine." I mean, like right. it's 
Keep the party going. Trey, your timing is off. Uh, the bomb sign came out at 12.56, according oh, to my... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, Evidence. Anywho. <laughs> anywho. <laughs> well, 12, whatever. You, I mean, you're I mean, it's important. To fly in. It's uh, sure. It's sure. The last person to fly in. So we and I flew it from the West right? Coast. I flew it from the West Trey. Coast. You niggas is in New York. Come on. Yeah, Check that from the record right there, because... That's irrelevant. If my if my say? me being up at two thirty Eastern is irrelevant, his long flight should mean nothing. Also, Your Honor, my six hour flight okay. means nothing. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Trey, you, you know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up. <laughs> See, first he yeah, crossed his legs. I, 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 not, then I he said the, the bottle came out at twelve thirty. <laughs> Shout out to Bill Duke. <laughs> Shout out to Bill Duke, man, <laughs> fan, of, fan of the show. Um, so. I'm good on paying for the next bottle because I know I'm not about to drink this shit. I'm like, I'm good, right? Jerv's like, what you I don't even know that like, they asked for the bottle. Oh, it didn't even get to you, right? So I had already no. had this conversation with Waz. He pivots to Harper and Jason. They say, fuck it. Cool. They bring the next bottles out. Great. After that, me and Jerv like, yo, we out. I don't know what Jason doing after this. They go to some after spot. Oh, yeah. They we went to an the, after party. We went to the they after chasing party. the night. They chase night. That's day. That's night one. Right? We do the show. Cool. After the show, niggas is hungry. So we like, all right, this is a restaurant slash madame spot, right? Shout oh, out to Toronto. That? They, they Ooh, got I didn't know that. They got some fly. joints, right? But okay. the bouncer's like on some shit like, hey, bro, I can't let that, you in. Shout so, to Mona? Shouts to Mona. They don't no, no. Shouts to Mona though. Mona's a legend. Shouts to Mona. Um, so at the end of the day, we get there. Waz pulls up with his cousins. You know, Shaka's with me and shit. So we get there, and first they're kind of hassling Jerv, but Jerv's not like the, the 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 weak link of this joint. It's Jerome, but I'm also like I'm dressed for the part, but I'm like I'm not gonna leave the homies outside, bro. So I'd rather just go eat. I so, also. I hope Trey. I also said once that once Juju in my defense, the second my man said, "Yo, nah, his pants." Yeah, he I was said, like, "I'll go oh, back." It's cool. I'm. I'll go to the. I'll go back to the joint. Y'all have a good night. I'm. I'm good. Like I'm not that guy. I, I literally said mm-hmm. I'm the guy that if I'm ever the issue, I'll dip. Like I'm not going to be the reason that niggas. So got there was. It. So there was no pressure. He didn't feel none anything about that. I'm like, oh, Jerv, you know I'm mobbing. Jerome can't get in, man. Fuck this spot, because I'm like, it ain't that deep to me, right? So yeah. Jer- Jason's still confused because he like, why niggas not coming in? You good? You dressed like how you supposed to dress? Come on. I'm like, nah, I'm going to go eat. So mm-hmm. we're just now learning of what happened. Now, to fast forward to why we why Jason <laughs> has these allegations on him is the next morning. I don't know what time okay. Jason arrived back. But prior to that, Harper is like, yo, I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to just get on my flight. Because I got to be at the airport at said 4.45, 5 a.m., right? Damn. So Jerv like, man, I got to, Trey, we got to leave at this time. I'm like, yo, no, we don't. We're going to leave at 9.15. <laughs> You're going to be straight. He's fighting the washness. So me and Zach are teasing him because he's saying he has to be there super early for, <laughs> uh, like for a flight that's only an hour. Like, I'm like, Jerv, you're not taking nothing in. So it's international. No, bro, it's not, bro, in this situation. So we're teasing him. So we calling him washed. That's why that shit came in the group chat like that, because that nigga was really anxious. Like, I don't want to miss my flight. What time are we leaving, Trey? What time the car coming? All this other shit, right? So I don't know what time Jason got home, right? Nigga's up now. 7.45, I take my shower. I'm like, Jerry, go get in the shower. I I tell Jason, hey, yo, you got to get up by 8.45 to shower, because we leaving at said time. No, wait, thought, Jason thought, Jason wakes up, though. Oh, time out. Jason had woke up because we were talking about the speaker. Let's, let's establish that Jason is okay. conscious enough at this point in time to acknowledge that his speaker is the said speaker that I asked about that was downstairs when I said, whose speaker is this? Yo, that's I my like, speaker. I, I was like, so he's conscious, everyone. He's not half sleep getting this information. I want to make that clear. No, for so, sure. And I, I thought I heard 9 30. That's my only defense. That's my only thing I thought I heard so, 9 30. But again, that's you it. grown. That's, you grown. That's, Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. So we like, Jerv already anxious about missing his motherfucking <laughs> flight, right? He, hey, when I say this nigga stressed, he's stressed. And I'm like, Jerv, we're going to get up out of here. So Ben comes. Talking and, loud, and we have, you know, T- we have clear TSA too. By yeah, the way, so, so, like. so Ben's like, Ben's like, yo, I'll get the car for y'all. Y'all ready? 
I'm like, yeah, we out. So I'm like, yo, Jason, we about to leave. This nigga's in the shower like, yo, can y'all wait two minutes? <laughs> Oh, because I can, because, oh, because I, I that's I I thought I heard nine thirty. But time out, time out. But wait, what, what time more. was the flight? Wait, hold on. What time was the flight? Your flight? Uh, eleven twenty. Ours at eleven twenty. And we were about forty five minutes to forty five fifty minutes away from the and airport. It was, no, it was we like, were we were oh, thirty wow. minutes away from the airport. We were 30, 30 minutes away from it. Forty. Excuse me. Well, time out. When we got when we the Sunday when we Sunday. when we came when we came in it took us forty five minutes. Yeah. It took so us forgive minute. us for thinking it's going to be around that same time to get back. So we thought. But that. but it's a common courtesy. Here's the thing. This is the thing. This is the the, the common courtesy. This is the part that was like because again we did not have to wait. Right. Yeah. Two, you said two minutes plus. Listen, it's not two minutes. Let me get dressed. Let's go. He said, I still got to pack my bag. Damn. Bro, so, and how fast, was I out? how fast was I out? Hold on, time out, bro. Hold up, bro. You and then, no hold on. You had your time. We, not, we would love for the story to be done, y'all, but it's not done. Keep going, right? So, <laughs> so, so did you just took a walk. So, <laughs> because like wow. it's just so crazy. So we get there, we like, all right, bro, we stick to go. Now the Uber done started. You know, you got five minutes before the nigga start. Either yeah. he's gonna choose to drive off, or he right. goes, so so he like, yo, he calling y'all left. I'm like, no, we're still sitting in the car waiting, bro. We get ready to pull off. He gets in the car. He's like, man, thanks for waiting. We get all the way to the corner. My glasses. Yo, okay, yo, can we go back? <laughs> so we like. We we calm. We're very calm, and I'm like, I'm sitting here. I look at Jerb, and I'm like, Jerb, we're gonna make. You I'm proud call. of myself, yo. I ain't say nothing. I, I was quiet. I chill. Hey, but my nigga is really stressed out, bro. Like, and I. Get I don't play it. with. I don't play with the airport. That's the one place in the world I don't play he with. Has, dog. He has real bad anxiety about this shit. So I'm like, <laughs> sitting, I'm like, all right, cool. Hey, sir, can you go backwards? Like, you know what I mean? So we can go back yeah. and get the shit. He like. Now I'm already kind of annoyed because I'm like, he like, yo, what's the code? I don't know the code to the door right now, bro, for you to open up the door to go get go get the glasses. I don't know where the glasses is. I don't know nothing. He finds the glasses, says, thank y'all. We on the road, the driver, we had to, you know what I mean? We get there. I'm like, cool. I had to tell the driver, like, yo, he's at a different airline than us. He right, got to right, go right. the whole shit. So yeah. after that, it was just funny because it was like, bro, you know you got a flight with us at that time. I don't know what time you got in. You still, even we could have left you, you still could have caught the Uber by yourself to the fucking thing. And but, I could have. Yeah, I, and I could have. My, I, but that's the thing, like, I, I didn't, again, I heard 930. So when you when you said we leaving, I was in the shower, I rushed. It took me two minutes to pack my bag because you said the nigga only going to sit there for five minutes with y'all in the car. We got to the end of the block. The, the house that we were at was two doors down from the corner, bro. So you, mm -hmm. it, the end of the block was not a long way. I asked, you, <laughs> so I, I asked you what the code was. You didn't give it to me. I figured it out in half a second, ran in, got my glasses, came right back out. So mm -hmm. I apologize. It was my fault because I didn't hear the correct time. I should have been ready early knowing that I'm riding with other people. This is all on me. I can't absolve myself of the mistake thank that you I and, I, so, hey, and, I, hey. and, and as much as y'all didn't say nothing the tension there was a lot of tension in the car. <laughs> yes. I could cut no the that's good i wanted you i wanted you to feel that no, no, no. i felt it pause, I felt pause. Pause. pause but it was pause. very it was it was very it was, it was it was very evident like it wasn't like but, it was but i was like at the same time like i didn't take that long but I knew that I was in the wrong. You feel me? Listen, I knew I was 100% in the wrong. Listen, the person that, here's the etiquette. The person that always needs the ride better be ready first. No, exact, exactly. You're 100% I'm a, No, right. I'm going to tell you what the actual etiquette is. Right. The etiquette is, if you're going to go out and we fly in tomorrow morning, you pack before we leave, bro. That's, yeah, that's, the, thing, that's, like, that's the etiquette. Yeah, like, yeah. you pack before you leave for the night to go out because... I know how I've been that guy so many times. Obviously, probably by myself. Especially if you're going to chase it. If you know you're going to chase it, and I I respect the chase. Don't get it and, twisted. And I also, admire the chase. It was his oh, first time. And it was also his. It was also his first time in Toronto. So we wasn't God, really oh, tripping man. off of it. But the idea of it was like everybody else bets. Was yeah. nowhere to be found. That nigga was already gone on the plane. Why? Why? Yo, boy, yo. Oh, man. 
That motherfucking yo, that, that nigga was that, that nigga was on a smoking York. bird. That nigga was on a smoking bird. Everybody else like, I'm like, yo, you the only person in the bed still. Everybody else up. Like, you gotta you gotta be a vet. You gotta be a vet in this scenario. So it was like, we looking like, look, bro, do what you gotta do. But That's at the so end funny. of the day, me and him on the same flight. You fly out later than us. You can't make us later. You know what so, I'm saying? I want to ask this wait, question. Wait. Oh, go ahead, Juice. Jason's yeah, go ahead, flight Juice. was later than you guys' flight? Yes. Yeah, my, my yeah. flight was like three hours later. I could have stayed in the house. Oh, hell no, nigga. I thought it was like an hour so, later. Like oh, but I'm in. in. Oh, oh, with that being said, with that being said, all we want is a verdict from the court. That's all we want. No, but, so, but, but I think I know the answer. Hold on, but, hold on, but hold it's on, not even that judgment hold because, on. like, that I'm admitting fault. I'm not pleading not guilty, bro. You feel me? Like, well, you you I, are pleading not guilty. I'm not, to put, the, I'm, not the worst travel partner. Well, okay, yeah, I, because I think this one. Incident does not make me the worst travel okay. partner. Now, now, oh, I see, now, now, I see let's make the judgment. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Like now, let me let judgment. now hold on, hold on, Juju, because it sounds like Jason has just enlisted the services of the law offices of Amino Hassan. <laughs> yeah. Because he's he's claiming viral decontextualization on this one. <laughs> thank you. Thank like you. this one moment does not represent me as a traveler. <laughs> Like, J- I can't <laughs> go ahead. With me. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't know. It was, it was a lot, a lot of shit, though, bro. <laughs> as, your, as your attorney, Jason, I'm gonna ask you some questions here. Now, we started this trying to figure out who was the worst traveler between you and Jerv. You told us a very long story about like what happened the night before and the night of, whatever. Give me some shit that I can go after Jerv Jer for. Because okay, all I got okay. so far is that this nigga wants to see sleepy. where the plane is. <laughs> well, this the nigga, nigga wants Jer- to see where the gate is. This nigga Jerv was <laughs> the whole first evening, night, he was a sleepy child. Like when we got to the uh-huh. restaurant for, for dinner to watch the uh the the college, the women's college games. Yeah. This nigga Jerv was sitting there like a bump on a log. And me and no. Wallace are like proud of this nigga, like, bro, we're trying to have a conversation. He's like, man, I'm just, I'm just sleepy. I'm just sleepy. Now, I'm, I'm going to call our, our first witness to the stand, Trayvon Edwards. Uh, Trey, you've seen Jerv out in the wild during mm-hmm. a UFC fight mm-hmm. on the TV fall mm-hmm. asleep. How's yes. high as shit that day? That's, that's, that, that's his brand. Okay. Yeah. So w- we can safely say that this is not a one-off or a viral decontextualization no. moment for Jerv. No. This is kind of his... That's his brand. His, 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 his brand. Okay, okay. All right, Jason, continue. And then <laughs> the, 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 second, <laughs> the second evening, we do the show. Show goes well. Mm-hmm. We're chilling at the spot, and kind of Jerv is still giving me a sleepy guy vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, yeah, what, time, what time is the show over? The show's over at what, like nine o'clock, nine thirty, like nine. Oh, okay, F- fairly early in the evening. Yeah, the first night it was seven or seven or eight o'clock. So we've mm. got back to back sleepy nights for Jared, where I'm looking for some sort of energy, enthusiasm. I guess he had a good time at dinner. They had a, some fish and what have you. So. <laughs> You know, so Jerv, yes, objection. Let's so, see. so for if I'm hearing this correctly, man, another man being sleepy is ruining your trip. Like, just don't talk. If I'm, if, if my sleepiness is bothering you that much, brother, here's the thing: let me be sleepy. Go talk. It's not like the hoes yeah. was at the table kicking it with us. We were sitting at dinner. I was, we was watching the game. Like, damn, I'm sitting there. When the we the 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 when the hoes were. At the table, kicking it with us. So that's the other part. I left the bottle. Out. Okay. We got the I'm not, bottle, I don't want to spoil the perception. Okay. When we got the second <laughs> bottle, the ho- the hose did come to the table the first night, the, and the, and the bottle jaws. No, there was a bottle girl, and then there was two <laughs> hoes that came to the table. So the <laughs> bottle girl was entertaining. Shout to young ladies. And and the two kids <laughs> was entertaining as well. Me and Trey was oh, chopping it up. Give me my credit, Trey. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We were in the back, on. Sleepy, now, sleepy Brown. Yeah, now, now, Jason, okay. let me let me also add on to this, Jerv. A couple of things. Number one, even if there are no current hoes, having a sleepy nigga at the table is like a hoe deterrent. They're not coming to go hang out with the sleepy nigga. Jerv had to move. Tell, 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 tell me go home. Jerv had to move. Tell me go home. I, I, I'll go home. I, I have no problem going home. Like, just tell me okay. go home. If, if I'm then, fucking it up like that, tell me go home because I never want to be that. In fact, I mean, hold on, I got to object. 
When I recognized I did not have set energy, I turned to Trey and said, yo, I don't have the Trey, energy no, 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 the no, guy that's standing out. Okay, go ahead. What did, what did he say, Trey? So he was like, yo, I, I don't have it in me to go to this next spot. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm no, talking no, no, no. about right. when we were, when I was standing at the table and I was oh, standing at the front and then all of a sudden I switched. What did I oh, say to okay. you? So, oh, he's like, yo, usually, you know, I, I'm on point, but right now, you know, I'm I'm tired. So, like, I'm going to go sit. I'm going to move. Can we swap? Can we swap spots? I, I, I got in front. I, recognized so I, I wasn't playing up to my performance coach and said, yo, put the ball in homeboy's hand and said, pause, so, and let him get the buckets. So, we switched up. Trying right to help there. the team win. You know what I mean? I, I'm, Look, even I'm, with I'm, the flu. Hold on, hold on. Fucking Michael Jordan at this time. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Win by sitting on the bench? Yeah, you, hold you, on. You said, take me oh, off the game, coach. That's what you said. I don't have yeah. it. Y'all got it. Y'all got the juice, hold not me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Who's actually getting hold buckets, on. the nigga who's the worst in the trip. Tell me Donald, that. J Jason, Jason, let your attorney do his job. All right. So <laughs> your version of take me out of the game was just to rearrange on the on the bench. You're still there. Because no, because the way that the way the table was set up, I mean is that uh -huh. the person that was standing closest to the edge, the, the two uh -huh. edges, right? Yeah. They would have been the ones that would have to have been the ones, you know, interacting to get the to get the section active. Sure. I recognize I did not have set energy. I said, Trey, switch spots with me. So I'm. A, this is what I'm going to say to you. I'm going to say to you, that's all well and good. But the reality is, at that point, you need to remove yourself from the table altogether because again having okay. a sleepy nigga in the middle is slightly better than having a sleepy nigga on the on the edge but it's still having a sleepy nigga in the mix and that I got a is not a good play okay and also next also, time nigga should just tell me before home i I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be i'm gonna be i'm gonna be honest though i'm gonna be honest they party weird who they party weird who's party who parties weird the canadians Second half on the records, that doesn't uh, that doesn't yeah. matter. That, no, no, no. Relevance. I'm I'm only saying I'm only saying this because <laughs> in this in, in said spot, there was like individual parties in booths. Oh you yeah, that was that well, was different. It was different, but then it was also kind of like, well, y'all coming over here. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. it was one of them joints. Like if you're not spending money, and we ain't really coming over this way, and like cool okay. like the joints that came really wasn't like that so unless you're oh, chasing oh, the night you'll never wait know if you, as long as sleepy okay. niggas around so it wasn't two girls came and yes. how many brothers was at this table five oh, including okay. one sleepy <laughs> including one two sleepy. girls and five guys and you say these two <laughs> girls weren't ball. necessarily top models no they, no, Trey, they were. So, they was cool. They, they was cool. cool. Trey's always a little more harsh than most Trey, people. Cool. But they, they, they wasn't. Bossing okay. over. Okay, yeah, no, nah, let's wow, boss it over. Let's do this. Just, there we go. <laughs> All right. Cooked. The other joints that was over there, I'm not that horny, bro. Like I was boop, 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 boop. okay, it so was, th this is the and we're black, but yeah, the, <laughs> Go ahead, the, Jason. the, the bottle girl engaged me first because she's like, Oh, are you Habasha? Blah blah blah. So we start, uh, yeah, she, it. she definitely thought it, bro, it's a bisha, bro, yeah, so we. We start big, big chopping it. The other slide over. I pass the bottle girl to Trey, like, hee -hee. And, and, now, and now we rolling. And now we rolling. You feel me? So, like, again, I don't understand how me, Magic Johnson of the squad, you feel me, coming all the way from the West Coast, 6 a.m. flight. Copping bottles, bringing chicks to the table multiple <laughs> nights. Niggas saying I'm the worst travel partner. I don't understand how you could throw that jacket yeah, see, on your board. See, I don't like get it. your closing uh, argument. Now, <laughs> that's my closing argument. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So what's the verdict, man? What's the verdict? The, oh, yeah. So, so I mean, let me let me summarize this. Jason's pros. Hey, man, I'm a fun time. I brought the hoes around. 
I, I, I kept the thing lively. Great energy. Jason's cons. His departure leaves a lot to be desired, especially considering, I'm, I won't lie to you, it's pretty damaged. <laughs> if your flight was like 45 minutes later, I'd be like, yeah, man, you just want to go to the airport. Yeah. You got three hours, bro. Like, that's... <laughs> That's like at that point, if I'm not ready, y'all go ahead, man. I'll, I'll Mark Jackson said, "What? Like, what are we doing here? Like, what now, are we doing now, here?" Now, Jer- Jerv's pros are that he was ready to go when it was time to go. Jerv's cons is you really seem to be like a weight on the on the travel experience between the pants situation and then not not chipping in on the drink and then also being sleepy. Okay. You're, you're, gotta, you're not, you go. you're not, I'm gonna take you're, the collar. You're, I'll on, take the collar. Whatever. Hold on. Yeah, I, I, you're, this, you're this not, is crazy. This is you're crazy. You're not, too. you're, you're not chipping in because of the bottle because you didn't hear. <laughs> it's the same as Jason's. I thought we were leaving at 9 30. Because I didn't hear. Oh, no, I'm just yeah. saying it, they're, they're equal. They're both that's equal. Good, both that's, of y'all, that's, a good, that's a good case. I like that. Both of y'all fucked up because y'all weren't paying attention or whatever. But for whatever reason, lack, lack, you both. So, so you who, also who, add that I didn't want to drink anymore, and I told I kept telling him I don't want any more liquor. I'm cool. And they kept giving me liquor to drink. Like, can that be added to the whole me not getting on the bottle? Because I feel like I got like broken also, fucking allocations over right there, also, and I don't like the bonus, that shit. Hey, also the bonus segment was we went we found a um fucking weed spot right as soon as we get there, and Jerry oh, was yeah. arguing with the nigga that works there, and he says, "Hey, bro." Literally said, bro, right? He says, bro, <laughs> take the 50 milligrams. Jerv, like, no, I want the 100. He says, no, bro, take the 50 milligrams. Jerv says, man, I've done 100 before. 500, 500, 500. Five, it was the 500 milligrams. Jerv said he had 500 before. So, what's it? He said, where are you from? 500 is what I had. You got you to give me the right case, bro. 500 is what he was telling me to get. I said, I had 1,000 before. Okay, oh, my yeah, bad. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 500,000 still. Stay in your lane, big baller brand, right? <laughs> the nigga says, "No, I, I could do a thousand. I, 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 I'm, I'm like, listen to bro. He the one who's selling you this shit. So he asks, where y'all from? I said, I'm from LA. He from Philly. He says, no disrespect, bro. Trust me, take the 500. So Jer, I said, Jerv, take the 500 because I ain't about to be dealing with you, bro, if you take this other <laughs> shit. So Jerv said, all right. And the nigga was right. He was the right. nigga was right. Because yeah. if he would have yeah, took that thousand... <laughs> We would have been, hey, it would have been even worse. The story, they, they would have gone Jason to trial. Would have that, Jason would have hit that nigga with a chair. Hey, that nigga would have settled. That nigga oh would have settled God. out of court. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Juju. So right, Juju. I got a birdie, brother. So, okay. in the case of Jerv v. Jason, Jerv exemplified great friend. He said, hey, I'm sleepy. Guys, I can leave right now. His pants were wrong. He said, hey, guys, I can leave right now. Again, the girls came, which Trey said admittedly weren't his cup of tea. So why do they have to be Jerry's cup of tea? And it's only two of them versus five guys. If I'm sleepy and I'm not even into this, and he says, let me get on the end so I don't be causing too much strife. Dare I say, Jerry made attempt after attempt to go home. And you brothers... Did not accommodate this brother at one point. You guys kept living your dream. You guys kept bringing your bad bitch ass hoes over for him to want. No one said, hey, Jerv, what can we do to make you want to have a greater night? Not once. You guys kept forcing him into your perceived fun. Now, Jason on the other end, of course, he was a great friend the entire time. Facilitating, paying, bringing... Yeah, fun, contributing to the show, everything. But in the actual case of who was a worse travel partner, with your flight being three hours later and you hopping yourself in that Uber and saying, I forgot something, that already there is like a felony one. Now, the murder that I'm going to put on you, murder one, oh, is murder one. You, they said the Uber is here. And you said, let me pack. <laughs> while in the shower while in the shower no no, no 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 but he wasn't <laughs> hey juju he wasn't even out the shower yet he, no, that, that's why he's trying to get the suds Jer- off his body i find Jer guilty of being a great friend and i find jason <laughs> guilty of being the worst traveler that i've heard oh, today no. <laughs> oh man
We're gonna we gonna appeal the case. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna appeal the case. <laughs> the next the next live show. We're gonna appeal the case. A mean a mean showed up in that bullshit and you lost the case. <laughs> so, he needed, he he needed that hat on from that week or whatever. With the laptop and shit. Man. Yo. It's, so, I guess glass is not coming back or what? Thank you. Thank you for the apology, Jason. Speaking yeah. of the apology, I mean, right. <laughs> please voice this. I feel like you're very close to this camp. Only you could address this as the best as possible because we're not trying to be disrespectful. We're trying to be right. understanding what happened with Jermaine. Cole. I think I think everything that's happened over the last three or four days proves that Cole did the right thing. Like at the time, everyone lost their mind, but it now comes in the light because the whole thing was, everyone's like, oh, you, you don't want to be competitors. It's, like, it's not that. If Cole understood, like, A, there's no way to do this, and but be, quote, unquote, respectful at the same time, you know? At I, some point, the, the, the nature of this shit, because you think about rap beefs through time. Nobody did that shit for fucking sport. I'm not talking about battle no, rappers. No, it's I really don't like you. I really I don't like spot. you. Yeah, I want right? your spot. Like, mm -hmm. like, it's not like, yo, man, yo, let's, let's, it's not like people try to make it like basketball. So it's not like that. It's literally, I'm out to destroy you. You are my enemy, right? And for Cole, who's not enemies with any of these niggas, he's the one that's friends with everybody. He's like, he did it. And I think that combined with the reaction, instead of people being like, okay, pretty good. Now let's see what Kendrick has to say. It's like a negative, like, yeah, fuck you, Kendrick. Like, oh, I'm not saying fuck you. That's my guy. I'm just doing this thing. So I think all that shit, and Cole's already a, a different nigga, like, in terms of Mr. Positivity. Like, Gene his Shore. biggest song. His big, yeah, it's the Crocs. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but no, but like, his, his, his biggest song, like, I think if you ask Cole, hey, what is your most important song? Not your most successful, whatever. Most important song you've ever done. He's going to say, love yours. It's the only song he does every show. He ends every show with it. And that's the energy he wants to have. No matter how good he is at rapping or dissing niggas or whatever, it's like, that's the nigga he wants to be. And we saw, like, I'm walking out of my lane. That's not what I want to be or want to be about. I'm going to withdraw. Niggas got mad. Some people took it personally. I don't know why. It wasn't you they're talking about or he wasn't defending you or whatever. But then as you see what's happened over the last three or four days, that nigga saw where the shit was going and he bowed out. Like, look, I don't, I don't want any parts of what this is going to end up being. Cause what fucking Drake just put out, man, that, that nigga, look, there's a lot of subliminals in that shit. Everyone laughing at Metro and shit like that. There's a lot of subliminals in that shit that are, I don't think the average fan gets that like Drake is saying some intensely personal shit in there. Oh, it's, I think it's always personal and very, you know what I mean? To that point. Um, Yes, Jason. Um, so I want to agree with you, Amin, but also mm -hmm. disagree at the same time and say that I I don't think J. Cole's uh, legacy is affected at all. I think he made the right decision for himself. Yeah. Um, I, I think at my disagreement comes in the fact of I think sometimes hip hop battles are not very personal. Most of the time they are, but like, the Jada Kiss and Beans battle didn't feel personal. There's been other battles that didn't feel like I really don't like you as a human being. Like, I felt like that battle was kind of like we respect each other as lyricists and we're just going to try to like out. Well, it was that. the camps. The camps were beefing at the time. Right, right. But 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 back to the J. Cole and everything of it, like. I've just taken a kind of a wrestling view of all of this and in that view his move is actually just another great wrestling, like hilarious move. Like you apologize. It's actually pretty funny to me. Like J Cole, like, and, and these niggas are actually all friends. So, you know, and, and well, not, to, well, not to, well, I mean, not, and I don't, I don't know, but like Rick Ross wearing the Drake hoodie, Drake dropping the text messages to his mom. Yeah. Like it's, it, it feels like, and I, tr I'm trying not to be disrespectful when I say this about J Cole, but it's like, Okay, you can't play with the with the big boys. Like you, you got you got asthma. Like everybody I, else is gonna go gonna I, go I, talk I, shit and slap box, basically. And I that's think what it feels I, like. I think this is what I would say. A couple of things. I would say number one, a not all these niggas are friends. 
like some of these niggas do not like Drake and Kendrick don't like each other. Right, That's for sure. That that, that one, but Drake is friends with Rick Ross and Future yeah, and Metro. Yeah. And I think, well, that, but, I think but, after all of this, there'll be some sort of reconciliation. I, I, think, I, I think, yeah, like the, the friendships, some of these friendships are more meaningful than others, right? Right. So, but then the other thing I would say is the difference, you say, oh, Beans and Jada Kiss, number one, existed in an era before every fucking thing you, you sneeze and then, like, I had a post I put up that had nothing to do with nothing. And, like, the number of comments that was about it, I was like, you know what? I, I, you know, I guys, I never do this shit. I took the post down. Because, like, I'm like, I don't want anything that I say to be misconstrued in any way. To be, like, a commentary on what's happening. Because that's the world we live in now that them niggas back then did not have to deal with that. They put out the record, and niggas just kind of, like, Listen to the record. They're not doing all these. Okay, so if you see this Instagram account here and this post, and he liked this, but he didn't like, you know, all that shit is is fucking. It's a different world. The other part of it also is Beans, Jadakiss, any name you give me. Let's say Ross and and Drake, friends, and this shit ain't real or whatever. They're not. Their brand is not positivity. Like I'm not saying they're like, right. oh, these are negative niggas. I'm talking about like this niggas like positivity, right? Right. And it's it's not an inability to do that shit because I think that my delete later proves oh I could do this shit very well. It's more ah. about like well not what? not not sorry. the seven minute sorry. drill. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Huh? Seven know. minute drill was, was cool. Rude. It was cool. I was rude. Not this, I could. I was. Like y'all want y'all want to feel that record? Hold I on. Y'all want to feel that record? The I seven minute drill. Seven minute drill. It was just okay. It was I like the cool. vibe better or whatever, whatever it was, hard. the app soul. I like it, it felt like whenever, you didn't want to just conductor. I mean, I heard I, conductor. That's when I was like, oh, and I finally woke back up. Hey, does it? I mean, no, in my, I mean it's, I, it's my opinion. I'm not, I'm not honestly, yeah, honestly, honest, 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 like, honestly, I mean, I think Pi was better, but I, I, it just, I could tell from me listening to Cole over the years that he didn't want to do it. I could sense it just yeah. in, in the whole thing of it. I, I, I tweeted that shit. Like, I'm like, I'm listening to it. And I'm like, he don't sound like he want to do this shit. And then two he days said, later. He's, he's Ali. I thought he was Ali in the big three, like two months ago. I, I, like, yeah. And that's look, the tricky part, Juju, because point. it's like, I'm like, look, I get it, bro. Like, salute the positivity. I get it, bro. Like, I'm, I'm the most positive nigga in the world. That's awesome. And it's fire. And, and, and do that. And I'm so proud of him for having a gall and not giving a damn but this like jason saying okay cool but stay over there don't make me want don't try to get me to come to understand that bullshit oh yeah he's just a butterfly man he lives like, like bro this shit this shit is rap. hold on this shit, hold on i understand hold on, hold on hold on so so hold on but let me ask you like you i don't think he tr try to get you to understand anything i think he did something and he regretted it and he said you know I'm what comma. this I, look this ain't me. I, I I shouldn't have done this. This ain't me. This is not who I'm. I am, and that's what I, what like Juju. Like your energy right now. I'm not saying you feel this way, but like your energy right now is the energy of a lot of niggas on the internet. And I'm not talking about randos because as we always talk about, fans are fans. You're as a fan, you you you're entitled to be mad at shit and happy about shit, whatever. But I'm talking I about like J Cole's albums before. I have I spent know. money on Jermaine Cole before. So right. what does that entitle me to have? And you, as a fan, uh, yeah, I'm saying and, that. I'm, 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 I'm not talking. My opinion. This is. I'm not all. talking, but I'm not talking about fans. I'm talking about niggas that's in the industry. That's in the industry, that like, whether whether they make music or whether they review music or whatever, like people who are around and saying wild disrespectful shit. Not like, hey man. Uh, I'm a fan. Like why, somebody why here did just... music and around music all the time. Okay, I'm one of them. All my partners rap I'm... like a motherfucker, and I'm not saying I'm disrespecting Cole. Juju, I'm just Juju, saying, I'm not. Once you, bro, I gotta be able to say what I'm saying. I Go know, ahead, but I'm, I'm, I'm. Well, I'm trying to clarify to you. I'm not talking about like. I'm talking about niggas that's like, "What's up, Cole? How you doing?" Like, like acting well, like I they know it or. That's but all, all them niggas. Like... They ain't on bomb. We we on bomb. We here we talking. <laughs> I'm saying this, bro. The apology, the soliloquy he said on stage, we could have done mm -hmm. without. If you feel this way, just say, hey, bro, this is my last time ever doing this shit. This shit corny. I'm like, bye. Don't say, 
How many Jack Kendrick fans we got in here? Yeah, I my, bro, bro, I don't want to hear that bullshit, bro. Like, salute to you, bro, and I get it. That's your family, and I, I love him as a musician. But I can stand on my opinion and not have to be swayed by, by butterfly catchers and people who want peace. If this is a rap sport and you just got on the shit saying, ah, this is a big three, but I'm feeling like Muhammad Ali and all this shit you always say you better than, at some point, you have to kind of back that up at least once. And the one time you back it up, this is the result. I'm not saying anything negative about the brother. I'm just saying I'm over it. Watch out. It's real shit going on now. Now it's fun because I don't see nobody... I don't see none of these niggas going to kill each other, none of all that bullshit, man. We get no. music from Future, Metro, Ross, uh, French Montana. We get music from all these niggas right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Love and, me as a hip-hop I don't really need I'm French Montana's fucking response. And bullshit. What you say? I just really need French Montana's response. You gotta, to, bro, you gotta do that. Hey, hey French Montana makes the songs for the whole. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Let, let my bad, Jill. My fault. Let's talk about my opinion. Can we take time mm. to talk right quick? Go around the horn because I keep getting. I'm at my. Whenever I'm finished talking, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> can have my fucking opinion about this. Go shit, ahead, bro. Go ahead, and man. I have go to ahead. have twenty niggas come to me talking about. But look at the bright side. Fuck the right side. I'm outside right now, nigga, with anger in my motherfucking heart, nigga. I'm outside with real deal killers and goddamn gangsters. I'm got fuck about that bullshit, my nigga. So I understand that side of the world. I'm a positive nigga myself, but I'm here for hip hop. I don't know that nigga. I don't know this nigga. I am a hip hop fan. So whatever's gonna make more music come out, that's what I want. And so I don't salute to him again, but I don't give a fuck about his positivity. Stand your ass over there. All right, this is what I'm gonna say to you, Juju. Just like you feel strongly that you can have your opinion about this shit, right? Can't that nigga have an opinion about his shit? I was talking about I can have an opinion without getting interrupted by some damn gerb in the meme. Let me just say what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 Hey, but I, 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 I watch <laughs> nigga. Let's take time at the end. Five right. in the seat. Let's go. I, I feel, I feel, yeah, point. <laughs> I feel Juju's point, and and that's that was my initial feeling, and that's why I eventually came to the more um like I don't know, just like easy going side because every because now we getting all the music, so I can forget the apology. But those two days, I was kind of really upset with him from for the exact same standpoint of like bro don't you see like this is not no tupac biggie like none of that and you're saying oh niggas want to see blood like all of the stuff he's saying in the soliloquy like no we don't want to see blood bro we actually just want to hear some funny good interesting like rap songs like and we thought you did that we thought that's what you did you know what i'm saying and your your whole thing like you said is i'm the best uh, you know, January 28th, it ain't Cole, it ain't Kendrick, it ain't Drizzy Drake, it's me. Like, so you've been saying this for a long time, and then now you got people on the internet saying you've matured and all this other bullshit. It's like, <laughs> we ain't talking about no maturity, nigga. We're just talking about a fucking rap song, bro. Like, let's get to the real, like, meat and potatoes of what this is. And so now we get to see everything he's missing out on. Drake came out with a hard diss song, which is not saying nothing about killing nobody or I'm gonna run up on a nigga, none of that shit. Niggas is telling jokes about how tall a nigga is and whatever the fuck else. Number one song, I gave you a number one song, this and that. And yeah, of course he's got his little sneak Drake disses to amp up the beef, which is what he's supposed to do. He's doing his job. You feel me? This is your job. You're a rapper. A nigga engaged you, so go back. And now we got Rick Ross who went in the booth and did his job, you feel me, and talk shit. And said some funny shit, called Drake a white boy like he did. They're doing everything that is supposed to be done. Now we know Kendrick is going to follow up. Like, and this is the fun. This is the excitement, the engagement. This is what we wanted. And that's the thing. It's like, if J. Cole wants to sit on the porch because he has asthma, that's fine. Like, you can't run with the big dogs. It's all good. But, like, it, it, for somebody who's, you. A, who's a fan, it was a little upsetting when it first happened. When you say can't run with the big dogs, got asthma, got to sit on the porch, you got asthma. Do you think lyrically he can't keep up? I, yes, it's not I about lyrically. It's, it's not in his heart. He the asthma it. is in his heart. He does not have in so, his heart to have fun with everybody else 
and talk. He doesn't want to slap box with the homies. You feel me? You ever slap box with the homies? Sometimes. Yeah, I, bro, I remember I had a pistol. Bro, we used to run with pistols. And then, goddamn, one time, it got real, real, real rough. My partner, Allegedly. Gonna, he going to give me the pistol and get in the car. Allegedly. And this is a gangster nigga I know. I didn't know that this shit happened a long time ago. This is a gangster nigga, but the shit came on and he was like, bro, I'm good. Huh, huh, huh. And so that's what he did. Huh, huh, huh. Somebody get it. I don't want it. Because it don't let shit me really out. happened, man. <laughs> let me out of the car. And so, salute, get out, bro. You he the hero in the movie. Let me out. So mean. Let me out, though. Let his ass out, though. I and do so that's how don't shoot these I niggas. Mean, <laughs> I mean, you we really? do think that he's very capable of being lyrical. I think we're disappointed in the fact that we would have been okay with him losing, like, long as he gave it a shot. And the fact that we have to live with the hypothetical of, like, I don't want no part is frustrating for as a paying customer. There wasn't a hypothetical. Well, I mean, he did it. He, he did, did it, it, but, it, did it, it but he just... Wasn't, and it wasn't great. And that's okay, so let's get... So let, let, let me just around. say this, too. This is the other part of it that makes it really tricky, and I kind of didn't even want to get into this. So it feels like uh, this grown man was peer pressured into making a diss song that he didn't want to make, didn't tell anybody about it, released it, it was ill-received, and then he felt bad about it because this is somebody who he likes and was like, either he got a text from Kendrick or somebody else said something and he was like, oh, it's not hot and I'm ruining the relationship. Let me backpedal. That's maybe maybe, may, like. may, maybe our algorithms are different. I didn't see a receive when that shit dropped. Maybe I I know the algorithm be reinforcing what you think. Y'all don't like it. That's cool. I it liked it. Cool. And, it was cool. And, 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 it was cool. And, like and the reaction, the reactions I saw when it dropped yeah. was niggas like, That's okay, cool. here we go. And then I, I, I think I think people algorithm. liked it. You, you like it. I think people like it. I'm listening to all the podcasts and every single podcast, music podcast, most of the people, I just search it, the, the hashtag, that was, it was less well received than I think that he expected it to be. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, like I said, what I saw was a great positive reaction to it. People liked it. And then what people did not like, because this came through on my algorithm, was niggas didn't like that. He said, you know what? This, fuck that shit. I want to do it. Right? No, that, no right. That, that, so that you right. didn't hear. I mean, you didn't. You didn't hear the fact that he called yeah. another nigga's album "Sleepy" when he's known for being the sleepy rapper. You didn't. You didn't see those tweets. No. Oh, see. Yeah, well, yeah we I, have different algorithms. Hey, hey. We have hey. different uh -huh. algorithms. <laughs> All I see when niggas done that hey. shit, bro. Hey, the conspiracy theories. He missed it. He mentioned them people, and he just had to. You know, he didn't want that pressure. Exactly. It's a, it's a whole bunch of reasons, man. It could have happened, but all we know is it did. So man, we can I, come up with this, it. We can make him a superhero and be like, he said, this I'm, track was so good, I don't need to ever do it. boys. Bounce on my chest. It. You know what I mean? But, but, no, I, but boy, I don't think it, any, this shit was whack. Ain't nobody say, ain't, first of all. I didn't think like, this shit was whack. I didn't think it was whack, but it wasn't it was great. It wasn't, it was not the great. Apolo the it, apology was whack. Okay, we're not, okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the apology. Agreed. I'm I'm talking about the project. The project. Oh, was, the project. Oh, no, the project is dope. The project is dope. Nobody, that, I mean. nobody the project won't care. Is like, that's good. That's good. Yeah, the, the project, project is good. good. Hey, you're talking about specifically yeah, the song, Seven Minute Drill. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about Drill and Gucci on the intro. That shit was so funny. No, yeah, that's that. That and like that. Pricey and like that are the two best rap songs that have been released this year. I think. Now, now, here's here's my question for y'all, right? Because I feel like we're getting lost in some other shit, right? Do you feel you could actually literally lose in this era of hip hop? No, no, I don't. I, I don't think no. you can. And that's the other I reason why the apology is right. Still, <laughs> because yeah. you don't have Six to apologize. Niggas love niggas gonna love you regardless. You already have your fans. Your well, core audience. Well, your core audience yeah, gonna rock yeah. with you. Well, regardless. Well, well. Uh, I think Mill. that's what it means when trying to say. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying Meek Mill. That nigga may not be. Uh, that nah, nigga might be. Still like listen. Most of nah, but niggas, shit. niggas still, still listen to him, bro. Niggas still listen to him, bro. That, 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 I, but what I'm trying to say is, right, we watched whether people agree or not, Pusha T beat Drake in a battle. It did not affect his sales. Nobody didn't nope. stop listening to Drake. The show went on, mm -hmm. right? 
I still feel say said Kendrick this is the one that quote unquote beats Drake again. Drake sales is not going to stop. You know what I'm saying? No. And I think that's and the, the way the energy for, that the we same go for the reverse, Trey. If, yeah, and the if, same if, thing. Yeah, yeah. If he if moves, Drake comes, yeah, if Drake come with another diss after Kendrick shit that everybody's like, oh, he killed Kendrick Lamar, that nigga's shit career is over. Right. Nothing is his ticket sales. Yeah, they yeah, exactly. put some out it's, tomorrow. It's, it's, it's going. It's nothing it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, right. it's, it's it's no, it's there's no finality to it, and I understand right. that, and I think that's our frustration because we're like, what do you see that we don't see, Cole? Right. Right. I do get where you're coming from, I mean, but I'm still like, what do you see? Because again, my friend said it best the other Can we day. Bossanova? Can we Bossanova? If I'm at, okay, let me just mm -hmm. get this one point. Okay. All right. My friend said it best. He said, I would hate to be in high school right now because high schoolers think celebrities are like there, right? Mm -hmm. And if J. Cole was your goat, and we're in a group circle, and they can say, nigga, that's why you're broke, nigga, fucking apologize. Now, you just got to be like, for the whole shit. Now, you can still listen to bruh, but you've now eliminated your super fan from the conversation of, of the, the rap shit that's actually going on. And I think that's what we were talking about and what Juju was hitting on, not attacking J. Cole personally as a person and all that no. other shit. And we know that he's going to continue to be who he is. And it doesn't take Everyone away what he's done shit. and what he's done overall in the past. Like, it well, doesn't. It, you're, it, you're right. It, I'm right. The, 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 the French Montana super fans get to walk around with their heads held. <laughs> right? But the Cole, the Cole super fans got to hide now. Fuck out of here, man. What are y'all talking about? I don't think. Yeah, what are you talking about? Talking about? What are you talking about? So, oh, wait. He no, just no, we're not to saying you. He got, people got to hide. No, no, no there's the idea I, like, I like, oh, kids in the... school. Oh, my God. No, no, but you me, it's, it's go, more oh, so. You can attack like, Trey's oh, example. You can attack Trey's example it's... and, and, and like, we still went, ain't talking about this shit. Bro, you know what he means. He means that, bro, fans love rappers now. We we actually, like, spend money to look like rappers. We spend money to, like, the, to go to these concerts. These concert tickets cost so much money, man. And so yeah. sometimes... That belief in that person and that faith can be shattered by some of these types of moves. It is all he's saying. It's not saying that the world is now sad if you like J. Cole or you want like, no, not that. Because yeah. people who like J. Cole got a head up. Look at you. <laughs> like, you got to hit motherfuckers out there. You're right. So that's how everybody feels. But it's just, it's just disappointing, bro. You can, you can admit that it's disappointing. It just it it, it, like, it, 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 it puts, <laughs> never, it puts his fans in right, this All right, though. Uh, Jer, all Bossa right, Bossa Nova, Bossa Nova, three, two, one. All right. So first of all, all these niggas is. Oh, always trying to niggas always trying to be funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, last line, last line was a little, a little zigger, but yo, you my nigga. All right. Wait. So uh, are we y'all y'all trying to? Cause... We got, we have anything else? Well, I just got... wanted. To... I wanted to just, we didn't even get into it. Like, I wanted to ask about. <laughs> no, nah, because yeah, we like, didn't even talk yeah, about like another. Three minutes of Boss I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just wanted to talk about the rap songs. Like, we did all that. We talked about J. Cole thing, and we kind of alluded to the shit. But, like, let's talk. We got two new rap songs. We got an ASAP Rocky disc. We got the weekend dissing niggas. Like, let's talk about what's going on. People are going to tune into the pod, and they're going to be like, these niggas didn't even talk about what's <laughs> happening right now. Like, please, let's do our listeners some justice. All right, go lead it. Where so, let's start. So, <laughs> the, the, week, the weekend is the weekend is dissing. So, the future and Metro came out with a yeah. new, a second album. That's singing on some poppy disco late night vibe shit. Cool. That's the future's other R and B vibe. He in the bag. He got weekend. Low key taking Drake's place with multiple features now. On one of the features, Weekend decides to diss one of Drake's partners saying, Yeah, shooters doing TikToks, which was a pretty funny line. We saw what that was all about. Bam. ASAP Rocky comes in on the mixtape side because they dropped the album and a mixtape, right? On the mixtape side, saying that he smashed Drake's baby mama before him and that he has the chick that drake wants rihanna which the follow-up is kind of funny that drake then the next day drops his whole disc 
does not address ASAP Rocky whatsoever. <laughs> like, is that nigga no bars? Even even Ja caught one. I was yeah, like, John Moran yeah. caught a straight. That's what I'm saying. Let's talk about what's actually going on here because this, this shit is this entertaining. Nigga, That's this fuck, nigga, y'all. But this nigga Ja, because I saw why I was like, this nigga was probably just minding his business. Then I saw no, he wasn't. When Metro <laughs> tweeted, everybody got to pick sides. Yeah. Then nigga Ja said. Y'all know what side I am. I'm on or whatever, some shit like that. And next thing you know, that niggas. Then we had the AI <laughs> argument, like which was that, probably that the most entertaining part of this the whole thing. If I'm being honest, like nigga, I'm on, on the internet arguing with everybody in the comments. Reply guy in my life away, like I can't believe y'all think AI is this good. Like y'all really <laughs> like mind, like they have manipulated y'all minds already. It's the AI gonna know that. Fucking John Morant used to mess with the same girl that Drake. Like what? Like the lyrics is way too Drakeish. The 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 tone of the voice, and then and a nigga tried to reply to me with like one of the AI songs where it was like it was so basic. I'm like, you can't yeah. tell that this is not Drake, my nigga. Like Jason, let me ask you, bro, because you I feel like I know your response. You think mm-hmm. this is a you you you? I, I I understand if you have high expectations for this for this. Uh, there's a little beef or bad or whatever it is. Mm. Do you, but do you feel like it's living up to it so far? Um, I think it's yes, me. Yes and no. I don't, because this is this, and this is what I was saying initially. Like, I think I agree with it. I mean, they're not all friends, but I think at the stage we're at, it feels like everybody wants it to remain mildly friendly. So we haven't really got anything that kicked off on some like, you know, that's why I fucked you up. We ain't no hit him up against all odds yeah. who shot you. We ain't there. You, even we ain't on no story of Adidon. We ain't there. So right now, I agree with you, Jerry, but I'm just excited that niggas is in the ring. I'm excited that the Royal Rumble is taking place. You feel me? Like, and that's what... This shit about to be Mayweather versus Pacquiao. <laughs> no, I, no, I, I think this... <laughs> Damn, Jerry. And, and nobody was, nobody's going to want to give kill shots. Right, but but in that way, that's what I'm saying. It's just wrestling to me. It feels like, like, and I don't have no. I'm not taking no sides. Like some days, I want to see Shawn Michaels win. Some days, I want to see Brett, the Hitman Hart win. Sometimes, I want to see Undertaker, Stone Cold, like the Rocks. I don't care who wins. Like I just want to see niggas get in the ring and throw niggas out the ring and do Stone Cold stunners. You feel me? Like, <laughs> that's just how I feel. I care. Okay, <laughs> you, know, you know who my allegiance is to. Yo, it, it, it don't even matter. Like I said, I, I love it. Can like, we agree I, that? I go ahead. Can, can we agree that the funniest line was Metro go go do some fucking drums? <laughs> that, nah, that, that, no, that, no, no. Nah, that, that's why nah, white boy. White, no, white, white boy is clearly the white boy. White boy is easily <laughs> the line right now. White boy is the sickest, and <laughs> I, and that's the thing. Playing up into Ross, this is what Ross do, and this is how. This is this is what I love so much about Ross being a part of this because Ross is going to pick a fire ass beat. He gonna be funny. It doesn't have to be true, but he gonna make that shit sound so. And then he gonna talk that cat shit at the end. And that's very mid two thousand, late twenty ten rap beef. And it's like yo, you should have left bro alone. You should have handled that on your own time because he gonna steal the show right now. But I do. Ooh, I'm biased. I'm, I, I really think Kenny is going to really bring it. Absolutely. I mean, nobody, niggas don't hype. We, we be, we the biggest haters on the West coast, bro. We don't, we be hating on our own. Not everybody on the soul say this is the one, bro. And like, at the end of the day, he know he can't bring, you can't, you can't, like I said, I hate that that is the example, but you cannot, bring it any you got to go hard or go home for the west coast let, that's it let me ask let me ask you this about ross who what what's ross catalog of this niggas because i feel like 50. the only be- yeah he survived what, no, the 50 b well he survived it but he survived it by basically doing the shit that josh should have do did which is i'm just ignore this nigga and keep making ridiculous music and nah, nobody mean, my, cares. Nah, he got, music, he got, he got some shit. Hard as fuck. He got some shit. I know you pro 50. I mean, I know. Yeah, I know. Man, you know. But <laughs> but it, but Ross had some shit. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie to you, big dog. Um, and I think like again, this one stole Drake's joy. Again, the same shit. 
Same thing as right. Cole apologizing. He kind of weathered down his own shit. His shit was hard. It was cool. Like, niggas fucked mm -hmm. with it. But when he did that, it was like, damn, you kind of putting out your own candle. Same shit with this was like, damn, Drake, you were the leak went out. Then you changed the beat and you wet your shit down. Now Ross is just, we didn't even expect Ross. He upped it. Ross just yeah. came in and was like, all right. Did y'all see the, did y'all feel like Big uh, Sean gonna try and drop something? No, nah, nah, get that, he better not. Put that, he better put not. that nigga over there with French Montana. <laughs> he better not. Like he said, but, no, really, but, like, but, there's no I, real. No, I was just gonna say like, I, I thought it was funny that Drake came out on the line. I mean, the drop down to give me 50 line is funny, but, yeah. um, and Drake's this was cool. Like, I'm not, you know, saying it wasn't straight. He, it was straight. It was straight. It, he did what he needed to do. It wasn't like exceptional, but it was straight. But the fact that he went on that and then Ross came back and said exactly what I thought, which was like, why don't you give rap a lot some more money? <laughs> why don't you give Stunner some more money? It's like, yeah, bro, you coming and saying, you talking about Kendrick split with top, but these niggas been in your pockets <laughs> your whole career. Like multiple, yeah. you signed to a nigga who signed to a nigga who signed to a nigga. Like what it's, are you talking it, it about? It was a it was a relevant scratch off, right? You 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 do the it was it made Exodus twenty three one look amazing, like that he created a template for niggas, right? right. Because cool, you doing contract for contract. You talking? You doing money? All y'all niggas rich. You can't do money talk. That's what I said. You got to be way more witty. I thought the funny shit about like, oh, go give him a room five and Taylor Swift or something. That was funny. That was great. That was funny. Yeah, yeah. I thought like. You know, cool to drop him giving 50 to Mike Jones reference was cool because, like, yes, top wants 50 mil. You know what I mean? To buy him out of that situation. You feel me? Which is way deeper. And that's somebody else pillow talking outside of the camp again. But we're gonna have some fun shit. Now, I think the thing about Kenny is he really wanna rap. He not he he a funny nigga. He really a funny nigga if you actually know him. But at the end of the day, I think. He really want to prove that he rap better than this nigga. He don't want to go jokes. And that's why Ross is king of this shit. Cause Ross could just do the jokes and we ain't got to worry too much. And we ain't got to take it too serious. And he going to keep this. Ross might drop another one before we even get a Kendrick joint. That's how great. Ross, that's the shit Ross to that type of time Ross on. But I think Kendrick going to really try to fucking like stab this nigga in a, in a, in a lyrical way. You know what I'm saying? And cool. If Drake do own this quote unquote red button, he better press that motherfucker soon. Did y'all see the? Right there. <laughs> push the push, nigga. The RDC. <laughs> I ain't say nothing. Okay. Y'all seen the RDC World video they did? I didn't watch it yet. I, I saw about the, it. I that, that's, it. That's, that's the mm -hmm. fucking. Uh, what's Mark? Mark, Mark last Mark, name? Mark. I don't yeah. know. Mark Phillips. Mark Phillips. Supreme, Mark Phillips. Dreams. Mark, Mark, uh, Supreme uh, dreams. Yeah. Supreme them dreams, niggas. Yeah. Hey, them niggas was fucking perfect on point. First of all, niggas had the wigs on. Yeah, I saw the wit. But let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this real quick. Cause we because we got 50 has inserted himself in all of this, right? Because 50 loves messiness and beef and all this. This is his, yeah. This is his, this is where he gets down. But it made me think, okay, where are the elder statesmen, the niggas who, you know, the Jay-Z, Nas, and even Kanye, like I know Jay-Z had to be on the phone with somebody. Somebody had to call or text Jay-Z, if not all of these niggas. I don't do want to hear from that nigga. But who do you think? Who do y'all think <laughs> that had the longest conversation with Ho? Was it was it Drake? Was it Nobody Cole? Nobody talked to Nas. They can't reach Nas that talk. nigga. They can't uh, reach that nigga. You don't think Ho? You don't no, think no, Ho's no, listening or Ross? Do you think Drake, no. Cole, or or no? Or Ho, Ho, they, Ho, they can't Ho they can't reach that nigga. They can't reach that not nigga. Talk, he's not. Hmm, never mind. What are you gonna I'm say? Would you? I don't know. Y'all got it. That's bro. my just... that's my boss. I gotta shut up. Let me be quiet. Yeah, I'm about to say y'all niggas. I'm about to that's what Trey. Saying. Trey, can you confirm that Jay Z doesn't actually talk directly to any black people anymore? <laughs> that's what I'm like, saying. No, no, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you. I was talking Jay Z right there, and we text Jay Z, and he he turned around and text back, and like niggas can talk to Jay. Like he ain't no untouchable nigga. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying he more on the fan side at the moment. I think he just kind of just enjoying the music. I don't but think I niggas think, is asking for yeah. him for strategies and shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Like, I think. But I, you don't think he texts Ross like that was funny. Like, you don't think no. Like, who is the who is the other like 
Rap, cause he can't text none of these dudes, dog. Cause all, all these niggas is fucking taking screenshots at this point and posting shit That's online. That's the whole you, point. He, he right, probably right. so protected. He's not doing right. none of that shit. Bro. He ain't right. doing none of that shit, bro. <laughs> so and what about say, Kanye? Why is Kanye so quiet? I ain't never heard Kanye this quiet in his whole fucking career. Cause niggas is mad at that Gary. Cause that, cause that, cause that nigga, <laughs> nigga ain't sent me my Yeezy pods yet. My Yeezy pods just popped up after fucking six months. <laughs> they motherfuckers supposed to come in two days. Nigga's a he, bipolar, so he's he's having a down <laughs> down session right now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But yeah, but yeah I, like y'all say it, bro. It's like, like you just said, bro. Ross, the 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 master of this shit, the king of this shit, yada yada yada. But revert back to earlier when you said, do you actually lose rap beefs? Because if anything would have made a nigga lose a rap beef, is you shaking the sergeant hand with a police off, uh, off the uh, <laughs> being a CEO. If that can't ruin a nigga, bro, anything can. is possible. That's what I'm saying, bro. Just rap, man. Just rap. But but that's the thing. I think the only way you can lose is if you really internalize the beef, right? I think yeah. that's kind of what happened to Ja Rule. Obviously, they had their thing with the feds and all that as well. But like, it seemed like Ja Rule internalized that beef and stopped making hits and doing what he did and like changed the whole trajectory of his career because 50 really got in his head. Pause. And like, if you just keep doing you, nothing is really gonna materially change, like as a result of a rap beef. Yeah, I, I think I think that's that's what happened with with Ja. Is like that was the lesson, was that Ja was incredibly fucking successful, singing a hose right <laughs> and doing 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 them songs right. Then it was wildly successful, right? Yeah. And then Fifty was like, man, all you do is make songs for bitches. What Josh should have done is said, yep, and the cash and the check cash every fucking two weeks. Instead, the nigga tried to make clap back and fucking all these hard songs to to win the streets, <laughs> to win the streets right. back. But then you done lost all your hoes. Now here was the master stroke, was at 50, then proceeded to make songs for hoes. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. it, was it was like it was like it was never about like I don't respect what you do musically. It's all about like I don't like you, nigga, and so I'm just gonna fuck with you any which right. way. Now that was the thing that taught me about Ross was that like I thought Fifty killed that nigga every fucking way, man. That nigga had his baby moms and shit like in skits. Like that nigga put the full court press assault. But then I felt like Ross was just like. Like, hey, nigga, is this you? Like you said, shaking hands with, with with a sergeant and all that shit. Corrections, Officer Ricky, all that shit. And nigga was like, yeah. billionaire dreams with the fucking cocaine. I'm like, <laughs> you just gonna, can you just rap through that shit and like not right. fucking? If the beats is hard enough, if the if the song is hard that, enough, that's exactly what he proved. He proved like, yo, if the song's hard enough, niggas don't care. Which is something that up right. until that point, everyone was like authenticity. Like what gave 50 the authenticity was that this nigga got shot. That was like, yeah. that's what, that's what fucking Kiss said, right? Like, right, like said, nine times like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like he was he really, just, like you talk about Superman, like that nigga was really Superman. But then when yeah. all of this shit with Ross and everybody else starts to happen, then you really got to, that's why I'm saying, I, that's why I look at it like wrestling. Like mm -hmm. un, until niggas really up the fire on somebody and like, it gets to that, and the crews is fighting outside of Hot Nine Seven. Like mm -hmm. this is Vince McMahon WWE yeah. Royal Rumble, my nigga, and enjoy the shit while it lasts, because it ain't gonna last too much longer. Somebody gonna say something, the nigga gonna get his feelings hurt, and blah blah blah. So enjoy it while we got it. I know niggas want to rap, but I do want to say R.I.P. O.J. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> be my nigga Orenthal James. Man. Hello, Twitter world. It's me, yours truly, one yours last time. Truth, I will truth, say man. his history. History has a has a funny way of you know, especially in the podcast space. We've we've probably done over a thousand plus episodes now, and there is an episode where we're all collectively saying "fuck OJ." Not me, yeah, man. When we watched, no, we watched the when we watched the documentary. This thing, this thing mm -hmm. hated black people, man. He no, he did. Man. But he came yeah. back, and I love <laughs> he how he, back. I love how he ended his life on Cam and May's show. I, because that's been the, the whole discourse after he died. Everybody was like, "Oh, he didn't fuck with niggas. Why y'all champion OJ?" Well, it's like he didn't, and he realized that there was ways, and he fucked with some real ass niggas. He fucked with some real ass niggas at I'm, the end of his life, and I gotta give him credit for that. I'm gonna be real with you, that. Jason. 
this is what I again I learned about myself. I was like, if you're entertaining, I'll let anything slide, man. Almost almost anything slide. And so that nigga like, did that nigga murder two people? Maybe, probably. But guess what? That nigga was entertaining to me. Like that nigga was entertaining as fuck. I like OJ. No, before no before arms about it. Hey, before he even got to to Kevin Mace. No, but, me but, too. but then I, I thought he was like, an entertaining figure. I thought he was nigga, a funny nigga. On on Twitter, every time the hello Twitter, I would laugh my ass off. I fucking be sharing those videos. I still got the one saved in my phone from during the George Floyd shit, where the nigga just says white people. <laughs> but that's it's the thing. I, I remember. I noticed that I was the only nigga that really fucked with OJ when he dropped his Twitter. And I started sending it to everybody in my yep. phone, like, yo, this nigga OJ's on Twitter. He's hilarious. And niggas started like looking at me weird. I'm like, yo, I'm fuck with OJ. And niggas like, no, that nigga killed two people. I'm like, okay. All right. How many, <laughs> bro? We know so many killers and we killers them off every day. <laughs> right. Like, come on, man. White people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just love that that nigga say white people I be saying that shit all the time man man yeah man shout out to OJ he fucked hella white bitches he lived a hell of a life he's a great running back a hilarious nigga man he fucked, he fucked a lot of bitches is definitely on his resume you know what I'm saying like he's a great dog, American he's dog, a great how American. about how about the whole the hoes that were, were that was trying to fuck after that nigga got out of jail man Bro, he had bitches when you, whenever he would post videos, he would be in a sports bar. It'd be bitches all around, young bitches all around <laughs> this nigga, man. Come on, dog. You got to salute. That's a real nigga, dog. That's a real nigga. <laughs> do y'all think his son did it? Maybe. That's that's the, that Joe, that's Judge Joe Brown said. Yeah. I, did it. I, I, <laughs> Judge Joe Brown, wild nigga, man. The glove he didn't fit. Boy. I know that much. The glove did not fit. <laughs> That's what I do know. I mean, I think it was interesting. I mean, that's a different conversation. New York, New York Times crashed out on the nigga though, but it was a New York Post. Sorry, New York Post. Yeah, New York Post yeah, crashed yeah. out, but like you know, um, and so did Kaylin Jenner. He was Fuck first. Her. He was first on the scene. I remember that day vividly. He was the first on the scene running up to the car. He looked suspicious. They hey, they lit fucking Caitlyn Jenner up like a little. <laughs> <laughs> <don't know>, <laughs> Yeah, they said you next. <laughs> but she, <laughs> she got a body on her too. You feel me? Like, right. you wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what you hey, mean? She ran a nigga over. She ran I know, over. I know. But when you say she oh, got a body on her, yeah, like, yeah. Nigga, you, oh, might, wow. you might want to, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no ditty, man. On, no ditty. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. One of the there. longest, <laughs> one of the longest Bob episodes ever. <laughs> we did the longest Boston over ever, but. We did it again. Thank you to Juju. Thanks, Jerv. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Trey. Thank you to listener. Patreon.com slash Captain Things. Make sure you're locked in. Uh, and be on the lookout for that next Soul House show. We don't know where it's going to be. But what we find out, we'll let y'all know. And make sure you're a Patreon. Because the Patreon's got access. Right? So, till next time, remember, stay black, motherfuckers. <laughs>